Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong says the next general election is about Singapore's long-term future and urged voters to choose the team they feel they can trust to safeguard their future. Mr Lee, who is also Secretary General of the People's Action Party, made the call as his party unveiled its slate of candidates for Ang Mo Kyo GRC as well as Hogang and Sengkang West SMCs. We are also choosing the team of MPs in the constituency to take care of the town council and look after the town. In Parliament, your vote will decide the MPs and the ministers who will look after Singapore and take it forward. In the PAP team, we've renewed our, we are renewing our slate and we'll be presenting fresh candidates to represent a new generation of voters and also reinforcing our team with potential office holders who can strengthen my group of ministers, Palsex office holders, to form the next leadership for Singapore beyond me and my senior ministers. So we are set, we are taking this very seriously, we are not taking any chances. And I ask voters, please vote for the PAP team, vote for me and my team so that you and your children can have a brighter future. Mr Lee also spoke about the importance of strengthening the country's fourth-generation leadership by bringing in people who are able to complement and reinforce the current team of leaders. The responsibility of the leadership, the current leadership, is not only to run the country and keep things sticking over, but also to make sure that there is depth on the bench and succession prepared so that in good time a new team is able to take over and take Singapore further forward. And we don't have a government which becomes older and older and older every year, indefinitely. And as I have said, in the last election in 2011, I brought in quite a number of uh, potential pe people, who will, people who are potentially members of the fourth generation, and um, both new candidates, new, new MPs, as well as uh, people from the backbenchers. And in the next election, I will be bringing in more people to complement and reinforce that team. I have a good nucleus, but I need to reinforce that team. And that's one of the important issues in this election, to be able to, re have, bring to, to have a strong core so that Singapore has the best chance of bringing forward the stability, the prosperity, the confidence and to be able to celebrate whether SG60 or 70 or 80 uh, with a reason to celebrate. And therefore, renewal is work in progress, never done. PM Lee also touched on Transport Minister Louis Tuck Yu's decision to step down, describing it as a significant loss for his team of leaders. It's a loss to us. Uh, you had been doing a very good job in transport. It's a very difficult job, but one which needs to be done. And uh, when he told me that he wanted to leave, I tried very hard to dissuade him. And my colleagues also spoke to him and tried to dissuade him over a period of several months. But regrettably, we were not able to change his mind, and so we have to respect his decision. Uh, it means that I have a significant loss from my team. It means that uh, it will be. I would need to reinforce the team even more. I would have had to. Rein, I have to reinforce the team anyway. But this is one extra space to fill. Well, speaking of leadership renewal, there are two new additions to the PAP's team for Ang Mo Kyo GRC, and my colleague John Leong is here to tell us all about the changes. John. Well, Jill, this is the third uh, round of introductions for the candidates uh, of the PAP will field in the general election. The PAP team includes new face Daryl David. Many Singaporeans will remember him from his days as a TV presenter. Also joining the team is Dr. Ko Po Kun, who did not manage to win a seat when he contested Pongo East in the 2013 by election. Not only was the lineup for Ang Mo Kyo GRC unveiled, there was also the PAP's new face in Hogang SMC. They're active volunteers and regulars at community events. And the new candidates of the People's Action Party are expected to represent the new generation of voters. All three are new candidates, people with hearts in the right place, 
who are committed, who will stay the course. In Ang Mo Kio, we will have a good mix of new and old, and we will continue what we have been doing for many years, which is to work with the residents to improve their lives. To many Ang Mo Kio residents, Mr. Daryl David is a familiar face. The 44-year-old will be contesting in the constituency in the next general election. He is currently the deputy director at the School of Design in Tamasic Polytechnic. The former sportscaster and presenter volunteers in the community, including at Meet the People sessions. Mr. David, whose mother was Chinese, says his ability to speak dialect comes in handy, especially when elderly residents have reservations about approaching him. And so I replied in Hokkien, I said, Uncle, my kia, why go Hokkien way? He held Kong Hua Then he laughed and he said, Oh, Mr. David also shared that while he didn't grow up rich, he was thankful that he had access to affordable education and housing. Because we have benefited from these policies and we were given these opportunities, I feel very strongly that, that I would like to ensure that we continue to maintain these good and sound and solid policies for, for Singaporeans. Also to be fielded in Ang Mo Kio GRC, Dr. Kopo Kun. The 43-year-old is a colorectal surgeon. And he's no stranger to the rigours of campaigning, having contested in the 2013 Pongol East by-election. Then he lost to the Workers' Party's Ms. Li Li Lian. Whether it's uh, in the by-election or now, I think the principles are still the same. Many of the things we do in community service, even in policy making, for example, I believe is similar to what we do in, in doctoring as well. We start by listening understanding and empathize it from the point of the residents. The two men joined the six-member GRC team led by Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung. Other members include incumbents Dr. Intan Azura Mokta and Mr. Ang Hin Ki. Mr. Gan Tian Po, who is an MP for Pasiris Pongol GRC, will also join the team. Mr. Gan's ward in Pongol South has been absorbed by Ang Mo Kyo GRC following the changes to the electoral boundaries. Minister of State for Health Dr. Lam Pin Min will defend the Singkang West single-member constituency. New candidate Mr. Lee Hong Chuang will be fielded in Hogang SMC. The 45-year-old is a senior IT manager at IBM and a long-standing volunteer in various sectors. In the past year, he got to know Hogang residents better. We are an older estate, so a lot of fundamental basic infrastructure that you can see in many estates may not be in Hogang. Definitely we are catching up. You look at the um, recent projects that we have put in place, like the leaf upgrade projects. So right now, the residents are very happy with all the LUP. In Aokang, Hong Chuang, I think, expects to have a tough fight. But I know him for a long time. He has that fighting spirit, and he is going there with the full backing of the party. Party resources, party support, and help him to convince Aokang voters that their current MP is not serving him, them as well as he could or should, whether in the town council or in the parliament, and Hong Chuan, backed by the PAP, can do much better. Now, the newcomers to Ang Mo Kyo GRC replace veteran MP Sing Han Tong and Inderjit Singh, who are retiring from politics. Another MP from the same constituency, Mr. Yoguat Kwang, will be fielded elsewhere. So I'd like to thank Indajit Han Tong and Guat Kwang for having been on my team and for serving Amukyo residents with me. After over 30 years in politics, Mr. Indurjit Singh says he'll remain a visible presence in the constituency and continue to speak up for the man on the street. For now, uh, my immediate focus is to uh, help uh, to fight the elections on two fronts, one in Amokyo with the Prime Minister. Uh, I'm helping him organize his campaign here. But at the same time, I have to, I have to go and help my uh, activists in Kabum Baru. They have a tough battle with Workers' Party in, uh, in, in Nisun. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time doing this. Uh, then I think, you know, I hope after the elections are over to refocus my time, to spend more time on my work and on my family. Uh, to be frank, you know, I spend very little time with my family and work more time with my concerns and my parliamentary work. I have to rebalance my life at this stage. I'm 55 now. Uh, that, but then I'm quite sure uh, Singaporeans will hear from me uh, to speak up for them and for issues that I feel passionate about. Mr. Singh Han Tong is also stepping down from politics after spending three terms as an MP in Ang Mo Kyo. I was very fortunate to learn under the three uh, prime ministers and we also uh, experienced the difficulties, the ups and downs, we worked together. I inherited a 
constituency called AMOQ. Strong support of the grassroots, strong, strong understanding of the people and work together. Mr. Yoguat Kwang is the third MP to leave Ang Mo Kyo GRC. But the 55-year-old is not stepping down from politics anytime soon. Prime Minister Lee said that Mr. Yo will be contesting in another constituency in the next general election. I've been serving as MP for the last 20 years and definitely wherever I go, I will continue to do my best to serve our people. Because what I believe is that um, we must serve with a sincere heart before joining the PAP team in Ang Mo Kyo in 2011, Mr. Yeo served in Chengsan GRC and Aljunit GRC. The party will announce at a later date where Mr. Yeo will be fielded. So here's a recap of the PAP slate for the six-member Ang Mo Kyo GRC. As we mentioned, Daryl David is a new face, while Dr. Kopo Kun had his first taste of a contest in the Pongo East by election in 2013. Now, they're quite likely to face a reform party team. Party chief Kenneth J. Ratnam has staked a claim on the constituency but hasn't revealed a lineup just yet. He has indicated, though, that he and party chairman Andy Tu are possible candidates. Now, RP contested against PAP in GE 2011 and lost by a sizable margin. RP took about 31% of the votes compared with the PAP's 69%. Mr. J. Ratnam and Mr. Stu were not part of the team back then. They had contested in West Coast GRC. Now, the general election is widely expected to be held next month, but Prime Minister Lee remained tight-lipped about when exactly it will be. He did, however, emphasise the need for Singaporeans not to get too consumed by local issues and to keep an eye on global events. We have had one presidential election. We have had two by-elections since the last GE. I think it's caused people to think about Singapore politics, which is a plus because you realise that this is a serious matter and you have to decide which side you're on. And it's not possible to say, well, I have nothing to do with politics and uh, I leave others, I, I, I leave that to sort itself out because uh, it may sort itself out wrongly if you do not commit yourself and make your own stand be known and to be felt. Uh, on the other hand, uh, there is a downside, which is that if we are so focused on uh, what's happening in Singapore, then you are not paying quite as much attention to what's happening around us, in the world around us. And we are always a little red dot, and the world around us always has a very Im big impact on Singapore. And that's all from me today. Back to you, Joe.